Welcome to the Learning for Legacy show with me, your host, Afam Onyanakala. This is all about the concept of making generational wealth understandable, practical, and accessible. I'll be exploring a range of topics and sharing conversations, interviews, and more. Because what good is building wealth if we don't build the people? Welcome and thank you for joining me today. If as a listener to the show and the podcast you like what you hear, please leave a review or alternatively like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if that's your preferred platform. Now on this journey we call learning for legacy, failure is something that everyone should be prepared to encounter in one way, shape or form on the journey of life and in this context specifically regarding generational wealth. I've been asked about this, so I'll share a few ideas on interpreting failure. And the important question is, how will we process and handle these scenarios when they appear? Now, any person who has ever achieved some level of greatness has had to navigate this stage before. For example, arguably the greatest basketball player to have played the game, Michael Jordan, once said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. So... Looking at that, I'd like to briefly touch on a few lessons that we can use to keep everything in perspective here. Firstly, failure more than anything is simply a form of feedback that we can choose to learn from. Now, whether this is a mistake or a type of error, it's ultimately a promotion designed as an educational test. Secondly, some of the best growth experiences and life lessons can be the byproduct of hardships, often disguised as creating solutions from problems, recovering from setbacks, or making something new simply out of an absolute necessity to do so. Thirdly, an event or experience becomes a teacher to encourage us towards developing a new skill or an aptitude to serve for the future. Our job in this is to position ourselves with the heart of a student in order to recognize and receive it as a teachable or a coachable moment. Fourthly is a decision. And this is for us that we are going to be teachable and coachable. This is both a willingness to learn times a willingness to change. Now this won't work if one of these variables remains a zero. For example, if a willingness to change is equal to zero, sometimes this happens if we lose hope for the dream ahead. Fifthly, we can fail but then progress forward if we don't lose hope for the dream ahead. But the dream doesn't become to be a reality until we first wake up. So as a result, success ultimately is a collection of small pieces or small wins all coming together to be part of your vision and achievements. Therefore, the important lesson here is that failure is an event or a scenario, but it is not a person. Thanks for listening to learning for legacy to join our community or find out about what else we get up to you can follow us on twitter at legacy learning or on our website at www.legacylearning.co.uk to access additional content or exclusives from this particular episode please find the information within the show notes Mm -hmm.